and welcome to the uh, lecture of mechanical vibration in this lecture we are going to find the response of a single degree of freedom free vibra free vibration uh, this this is the last lecture for the single degree of freedom free vibration after this lecture we will talk about the damped system and in this system we will be more mathematical to see the response of this system so let's start that this is my single degree of freedom system i am assuming that i am giving an initial deflection to this mass by an amount x not please remember i am giving an initial input because i am saying that this is a free vibration case as it is free vibration case that means the system will vibrate naturally without the action of any force but if the system is like that it will not vibrate by him itself i have to give some initial disturbance to my system so here i am giving an initial uh, disturbance in terms of displacement or in terms of velocity or both now how you will correlate this with your real life problem suppose i am having a mass m on a spring this or i would say that in real life system you can say that you are having a punching press this is a punching press where you there is a we there is a high amplitude force applied to the body and this punching press is mounted on the ground with respect to some spring so this is your real life problem where you are having a press you are moving from real life problem to a mathematical model and this is your mathematical model where this is m and this is k and if there is certain initial displacement to this mass in what way we can say that if i am applying a gradual force to this system because of the gradual force the system will not experience any velocity and there will be only initial displacement so if i am moving the system gradually i will experience initial displacement but if i will if suppose you assume that a large mass is falling on this body so when the uh, when a mass m1 will fall on this body and then i am assuming that the now m1 will not in the contact of this mass then the mass is going to experience one uh, energy or i should say that mass is going to experience an initial velocity of assume and assuming that the initial velocity will be x not sometime what will happen the both will act simultaneously so it depends on different uh, real life condition but we are we will be more generalized and we will solve our expression will get our expression for both the initial displacement and initial velocity so let's start now that i am assuming that this is a single degree of freedom system where the mass can only move in the vertical direction and i am giving certain initial <coughs> disturbance to my system when i will give certain initial disturbance and then i will remove this uh, uh, force so my mass will vibrate in free mode or in natural mode and suppose i am interested to find the displacement of this mass after the 0.8 second so how you will get the displacement by after 0.8 second because if you will recall our previous lecture in our previous lecture we have derived the equation of motion of this system and that was mx double dot plus kx is equal to 0 using this expression i will be able to get the natural frequency of this system that will be omega n will be under root k by m but if i will ask you to find the value of x which is a function of time after 2 seconds so i don't know how i can get the value of displacement or i want to know the acceleration of this body after 2 second or velocity of this body after 2 second if the system is vibrating freely uh, i am not uh, so far i have not uh, calculated or i have not devised any equation which will tell me that what would be the displacement velocity or acceleration of this mass after certain time so i am basically interested to calculate the all the three quantities with respect to time or i should say that i have to solve the this uh, this differential equation this is an ordinary differential equation and if i will get the solution of this ordinary differential equation i will be able to get all the three values so here i am showing one example that my x is given as 5 sin omega t and if omega is 2.5 and if this is the solution of my equation suppose that this is my equation for a motion or this is the solution of my equation where 
only t is unknown to me so when i will put the value of t here that i will put the value of t 0.8 i will get the value of x which will be 5 sin 2 that in similar fashion if i will having one expression where the t is the only variable i will be able to get the value of x uh, by putting the t value in that particular expression and that expression will come from the solution of this ordinary differential equation so now let's find the solution of this ordinary differential equation so we know that the solution of the ordinary differential equation this is my ordinary differential equation which is mx double dot plus kx is equal to zero and if i am interested to find the solution of this ex uh, equation this is standard solution of this ordinary differential equation please remember that i have not derived this solution this is a standard solution available if you studied the so, uh, differential equation in mathematics course there also you consider this solution for this kind of ordinary differential equation so this is the solution of this ordinary differential equation and how they have derived this solution so there is a standard procedure what actually we do we assume one general solution for the uh, this uh, x because x is a function of time so normally we start with this expression this is my first expression where i considered that the system is having some uh, vibration uh, and they, this is the equation for the simple uh, vibration so my x can be write as a e to the power st now i am going to put this solution back to my equation when i will put this solution back to my equation so first i have to find the velocity expression and i have to find the acceleration expression so i will put the acceleration and displacement expression into this equation i will get this expression from this expression i will move and i am getting this expression where in this expression either a will be zero or this quantity will be zero I know that I started with this explanation that this expression x will be a with 1 uh, e to the power st so a is representing the amplitude if I am finally going to consider that a will be 0 that means there is no motion that means the a will not be 0 if a is not 0 that means the second term which is in this equation will be 0 so this ms square plus k is 0 this equation is known as the auxiliary equation or characteristic equation so so far from here to here is a standard approach we follow to solve any ordinary differential equation so now this is my characteristic equation and the solution of the characteristic equation or getting the roots of the characteristic characteristic equation will give my, me further information so now if i will get the value of a here i will move get this minus k by m square root will be plus minus so i know that k by m can be considered as omega natural so finally i am having that s will be plus minus i omega and where i is the uh, iota or imaginary quantity so i basically representing minus one and the square root so now when this is my standard solution where s1 and s2 are the roots of the characteristic equation of this expression so when i am going to put this s1 and s2 i am getting this expression here this quantity is s1 and this quantity is your s2 from this expression then if i am going to apply this e to e e is uh, e is power i theta can be write as cos theta plus i sin theta and when i will put this value here i am getting this expression in this expression if i will rearrange finally i am getting that c1 plus c2 cos omega nt and c1 minus c2i sin omega nt so i can now further this these are the constants so i can make a single constant here also i can make a single constant so my final expression for x is a cos omega nt plus b sin omega nt this is the solution of your mx double dot plus kx is equal to zero equation so this is your governing equation and this is the solution of your governing equation in this solution if you will put time value different different time instant value you will get x value but before that you should know the a and b value where a and b are constant and these constant can be calculated by applying some initial condition because this is initial value problem i am not going in the mathematics of here some of the boundary value problems and the initial value problems so here by giving some initial condition i will be able to get the a and b value so this is initial value problem and the constants are can be calculated by putting the initial value so this is my expression 
for solution of mx double dot plus kx is equal to zero this is one of the way to write the solution this is another way to write the same solution here i am writing the same expression by rearranging the term and i am getting that x1 cos omega nt minus phi in the first expression a and b are the two unknown or the constant in the second expression instead of a and b i am having x1 and phi are the constant similarly i can have the third expression where i am saying that the x2 and phi2 so x2 and phi2 will be unknown so in all the expression you see only two unknowns are there and why the two unknown because order of this ex this differential equation is two that means there will two conditions are required to get the solution and two conditions are the x0 and x x0 dot so here is the initial displacement and here is the initial velocity so if i know the initial displacement and initial velocity of my system i will be able to get these two constant and after getting these two constant my expression will have only t variable because omega natural will be available to you so you can get the value of displacement or if you will differentiate this term you will get the velocity and then also acceleration so by putting the value of t you will be able to get the all the three quantities with respect to time so now let's assume that this is the case this is my single degree of freedom system where these are the k and m and i am assuming that the this x0 and x0 dot both are given simultaneously to my system at time t is equal to 0 so if i will consider my first expression and i am going to get the value of a and b how i can get a and b so at time t is equal to 0 if i am using this expression my cos omega nt will become 1 and sin omega nt will become 0 so i will get that x not because this is at t is equal to 0 so a into 1 plus b into not so my a will be x not then if i will differentiate this expression and i will put again the time t is equal to 0 this would be my expression and finally i am getting that b will be x not dot by omega and when i will put a and b into the solution i am getting this expression so this is my final expression where x not x not dot omega and all will be available to me only the t will be the variable so i will be able to get the value of x for any instant of time similarly if i will differentiate this expression i will get velocity as well as if i will further differentiate i will get the acceleration so by considering my this first expression this is my solution similarly suppose i am taking the third expression this is my expression so now i know that for t is equal to 0 x will become x not and x dot will become x dot not so i will first put this condition so at t is equal to 0 this will become 0 and then x2 sin phi2 will be x not similarly if i will differentiate this term i will get that the x2 cos omega nt plus phi2 and one omega n will come here so finally you can see here that i am showing that this would be my equation which from this i started at time t is equal to 0 i assume that x dot and x dot not so when i will put this i will get this x not will be x2 sin phi because i will put this t is equal to 0 in this expression if i will differentiate this and then i will put t is equal to 0 this would be my expression so by solving these two equation i will be able to get the value of x not and phi not and here i am representing my x and phi so using this the phi is basically called phase angle and the x is known as the amplitude so using putting these two value back to in this equation now i will be having one expression where only t is unknown and i can get the value of x with respect to time if you will cross check both the expression will give you the same answer so in this way if you are having a problem where you have been asked that suppose you are having a single degree of freedom system where k and m is known to you suppose k is 4k newton per meter this m is 2 kg and you said that there is a 2 cm initial displacement no velocity and you have to find the expression so what you need to do you know that if t is equal to 0 your x will be x not that is 2 cm and your x dot is 0 so your expression for xt is what your expression is x not cos omega nt plus x not dot by omega n sin omega nt in this expression actually x not is 0 now you have, you no need to calculate constant a and b because we have already calculated this constant so you can remember this formula or you can calculate a and b because your general solution is a 
कॉस ओमेगा एन टी प्लस बी साइन ओमेगा एन टी सो इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन इफ आई विल पुट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो माई ए विल बिकम एक्स नॉट एंड वेन आई विल डिफ्रेंशिएट इट एंड आई विल पुट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो आई विल गेट द बी बट माई एक्स नॉट इट सेल्फ इज ए जीरो सो आई विल गेट दैट बी विल बी जीरो सो वेन आई विल आई दर अप्लाई दिस वे और आई विल रिमेम्बर दिस एक्सप्रेशन इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन माई एक्स टी विल बी एक्स नॉट कॉस ओमेगा एन टी आई नो दैट ओमेगा एन विल बी अंडर रूट के बाय एम सो माई फोर थाउजेंड बाय टू विल बी माई ओमेगा एन एंड आई हैव कैलकुलेटेड ए ए एस कम आउट दैट टू सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स टू इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस टू मीटर और जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सो माई फाइनल एक्स टी विल बिकम जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू कॉस दिस एक्सप्रेशन विच विल बी टू थाउजेंड सो आई विल से दैट दिस इज अंडर टू थाउजेंड टी दिस इज माई एक्सप्रेशन इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन ओनली टी इज द अनोन वैल्यू सो इफ आई एम इंटरेस्टेड टू फाइंड द डिसप्लेसमेंट ऑफ दिस मास विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम लेट्स फॉर्म टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू टी इज इक्वल टू फाइव सेकेंड इन ए स्टेप ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन सेकेंड सो आई विल पुट ऑल द टी वैल्यू एंड आई विल आई विल बी एबल टू गेट द डिसप्लेसमेंट एंड आई विल बी एबल टू गेट दिस प्लॉट वेयर दिस इज द टी स्केल एंड दिस इज द एक्स वैल्यू थैंक यू